So, match number nine sees Brazil taking on Switzerland. So, starting lineup for Brazil is like this Edison Gold, Silva, Marcelo, Alves, Luis, Diego, Arta, William, Coutinho, Neymar, and Firmino. As for Switzerland, they line up like this Sovereign Goal, Lichsteiner, Rodriguez, Shah, Lang, Barami, Xhaka, Shakiri, Fernandez, Dudiriok, and Bolo up front. So, Switzerland will get this match. Match number nine underway. Brazil, one of the favourites for this tournament. Looking for, what is it, their fifth? Would it be their fifth World Cup if they were to succeed in Russia? They're playing in their traditional yellow jerseys with sort of turquoisey blue pants. Switzerland in red jerseys, white pants. Um, and this match will take place on June 17th. 2018 at the Rostov Arena, which is in Rostov-on-Don. Uh, in fact, these two sides have met eight at times before over the history of football. Last time out, it was a friendly, and Brazil lost to Switzerland. In fact, the last time that they beat Switzerland was back in 2006, again in a friendly 2-1 winners. In fact, the only time that these two sides met in the World Cup was all the way back in the 1950 World Cup. Ended at a 2-2 draw. Um, did they go on and win that World Cup? I don't know. That's, that's beyond my knowledge at this moment in time. I'm under pressure, you see. But the two sides have met uh, 18, eight times in all competitions and in friendlies. Uh, Brazil have won three. Switzerland have won two. And they've drawn two, uh, three between them. So, uh, what's going to happen in Russia? Switzerland will be no pushovers. They're a, they're a decent side. In fact, they're one of the underrated underdogs. Underrated underdogs? Underdogs of European football at the moment. They did have to go through the trapdoor of the playoffs. But I think they had a bit of a uh, stiff group to qualify. Um, but I feel that they have the makings of a side that's going to finish second in this group. But it's a tough group. Costa Rica and Serbia do have the knack and ability to finish second as well. I think Brazil will run away with it. Uh, but I think this game will go uh, to prove to who will come out on top. Switzerland versus uh, Brazil. Uh, Brazil will be loaded with superstars such as Coutinho now of Barcelona. And Neymar now of Paris Saint-Germain. And Firmino still of Liverpool so and they've also got some other young hungry talent in Gabriel Jesus of uh, of Manchester City he'll be uh, fighting to get himself on the pitch and young Anderson between the sticks so they've got a young hungry squad and hopefully it'll be a better display or a better end to the tournament for Brazil uh, especially when you think about how they their last well, that's not their last game, but their last game that actually meant anything, and that was that 7-1 spanking against Germany in the 2014 World Cup to eventual winners in Switzerland with the first real chance of this match uh, as they try to put Turdison to his to work. And he's wearing some really retro jersey and has punted only to a far as halfway line in Switzerland. Go again. Have they got the pace? No, they don't. Brazil looking to, to stamp themselves on this simulation. Now, if you're new to this channel, and what the process that we're doing here. I'm trying to simulate each and every World Cup game. It's CPU versus CPU. And we're trying to figure out who's going to win the World Cup. Retro style. That's right with FIFA 95 uh, game that I used to play on my uh, Mega Drive way back when. Obviously we've tweaked it a little bit. Uh, and brought the squads back up to the current 2018 lineups. Obviously we've had to make some changes and create some countries. Uh, for example, Serbia and Costa Rica were both not in the actual game, so we had to add them on, or maybe, you know, uh, do a little, do, do a little uh, uh, down and dirty and get them in there. It wasn't easy, I just want a big thanks to Dave Jordan out of Chicago, who helped me tremendously with this over the summer, as, uh, as it was one of my projects. Um, as now, oh, I was going to say Switzerland trying to build something as we crawl towards the end of the first half. We do play two four-minute halves and the first half is just about done. Is there a chance for one more highlight to get excited about? Because it's been pretty dull thus far. And there it is. Nil-nil. Brazil will get the second half underway. And 
and that goes straight out for a throw for Switzerland. If they were to squeeze a goal here, you would fancy them to go on to win the group, but I don't know. I just don't know. This, this simulation has proved some shocks thus far, uh, so we might be in for another one here, but right now, as it stands, it's nil-nil, and Switzerland will be the, definitely the happier of the two sides. It's coming here. It's a good effort, but Edison's down to it. Uh, if you've not checked out any of the other simulations before, uh, obviously I can change uh, some of the teams and players' names and all that kind of stuff. That's fine, but I can't change what players look like. That ability was not available uh, until maybe FIFA 96 or 98. Um, but I decided to go with one of the... Was this the first ever FIFA? I think it was the first ever FIFA. Um, and it was one of my... It's probably the best game I've ever played. You know, on the grand scheme of things. Obviously, there have been better performing games, better looking games, better gameplay playing games. But this game uh, holds true nostalgic value for me. Played many, many hours on this. Not very good at it, but you know, played many, many hours on it. Um, and obviously, 1985 was the greatest year in football. If you're not, not sure why, just head over to my YouTube channel. You'll see why, because I'm a Blackburn Rovers fan. And that is when we won the Premier League. That's when we were the Kings of England. And the less talked about where we are these days, the better. So this game seems to be a bit of a stalemate. No one can really get a hold of it. Uh, just and if you if you are new to this setup, don't worry. They're not all like this. In fact, Switzerland have just made this game a lot interesting, as they've taken a one 0 lead up against one of the favourites, Brazil. Who's that on the score sheet? Is it Mbolo? My boy Mbolo from Schalke. It is Mbolo from Schalke. Opens up the scoring. And it's now Brazil nil. Switzerland, the underdogs, won. So, Brazil will get the second half underway. Or, or kick off again, should I say. They already got the second half underway. And now, Switzerland in a bit of, uh, bit of dreamland. Can Brazil get them back in this? Well, that effort was, oh, just booted over. Playing it safe for Switzerland. It'll be a corner, retro style. Here comes Brazil. Float it in there. They've got less than two minutes to go. And that header is good, but it's over. It'll be a goal kick for Switzerland. Uh, I did up, I did tweak some players. Obviously, I tweaked Neymar, Messi, Ronaldo, Eden Hazard, uh, and the like. Obviously, they are the best players in the world right now. So I, I wanted to reflect that. So Neymar is on here with pretty if not the highest statistics you can get for a player so with that in mind switzerland are doing the business and you know competing well this would go a huge chunk of the way for them to qualify and i would say it, it does make them now favorites for the group um i do expect a few shock eliminations in the in the group stages i don't expect it to be this one but you never know. You never know. Look at England uh, in the in the Euros. Okay, they made it through the group stage uh, into the knockout phases of the Euros, but they were embarrassed, embarrassed by uh, Iceland. And that is the second, and that was second effort, and that nearly, nearly made it in the back of the net. So Brazil, less than a minute to go, trying to get themselves back in this game. It's headed out a play for a throw-in for Brazil. Can they? Uh, find an equalizer it's built up nicely that shot was woeful and it's booted out towards Brazil they've got 30 seconds to find it can they do it headed on no it's cleaned up by Switzerland they've just they've just been all over them you know smothering out each and every one of their attacking plays As we crawl towards the final whistle, is there anything left in this match? Doesn't look like it. Time added on. This should be it. And it is 1-0 Switzerland. Whoa, 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 that's a turn of events. Look at that. Three shots apiece on, on target. But uh, that's the stat that matters. Switzerland 1, Brazil 0. Recap, the goal scorer is Mbolo, the one and only.
As for fouls, there was no fouls. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.